Welcome back to my channel, I'm Fu, founder of Appentel. In today's video, I will introduce you to the main square system in Qing Dynasty 1636-1944, which is the last imperial China dynasty. Now, China has many uh, different cultures and ethnics. This video only covers the mainstream Han and Manchu system, so enjoy! Brief history about Qing Dynasty in China the Qing Dynasty is created when a Manchu clan, whose people lived in northeast of China, conquered China from the Ming Dynasty, like previous nomad rooted dynasty Qin Yuan. The Qing assimilated Han culture, language, custom, and went on conquest. Under the Qing, China had the largest extent border, with a large network of tributary states, the richest country in the world, a diverse culture with many local ethnics and foreign visitors. However, it also continued the policy of close border from the Ming, failed to industrialize and later collapsed due to internal pressure. Ming vs. Qing System During Qing Dynasty, two systems of main square exist side by side, the Han and the Manchu. The Han main square system is the continuity of previous Han main square systems, which had existed and evolved over thousands of years. The Manchu brought with them their main square system and initially forced it upon Han Chinese. In later years, the Han voluntarily adopted Manchu's clothes, probably because those clothes were more convenient. Han clothes evolved from sedentary lifestyle, which made them long and loose more fitting for a rich society with abundance of clothes and leisure time. Manchu clothes have the characteristics of the typical nomad culture. They use trousers instead of skirts. The clothes are narrow fitting, better for riding horse and live in a movement intensive lifestyle. Casual wear A full set of clothes typically consists of two or more layers depending on the weather and situation. For two pieces garment, it may include a Han shirt Yi or a Manchu shirt Hao. The bottom can be a dress called Chang or trouser called Ku. In a garment, there are two most common types, Zhong Yi, two pieces, and Zhong Dan, one piece. Main layers, several styles are popular. San Yun, a short coat with a long skirt. Ru Yun, a top garment with a separate lower garment or skirt. Ku Zhe, a short coat with trouser. Zi Zhuo, Zi Shen, a Ming Dynasty side robe. Dao Pao, Fu Sha, a side of robe for scholars. Chang Shan, Manchu influenced long shirt, often worn with man wool or riding jacket. Overcoat, Zhao Shan, Long open front coat. Formal wear. Although Chinese have different formal wear system for different occasions and religions, the most common formal wear for civilians in Qing Dynasty is called Xuan Zhuan. It consists of a black or dark blue top garment that runs to the knees with long sleeves, often with white piping, a bottom red chang, a red PC an optional white belt with two white streamers hanging from the side or slightly to the front called Hei Shou and a long black one. Additionally, wearers may carry a long jet hui or wooden hu tablet used when greeting royalty. Court dress The Qing required men who served as court and government official to wear Manchu clothes called Changshan the Changshan can be worn individually with Makua and later with Western overcoat. Yellow color was reserved for the emperor. Bureaucrat or Mandarin wore a coat with Mandarin square to signify rank. Clothes in court never served as fashion but always to signify who that person was and what position that person hold. Footwear Standard men's footwear was a black cloth, boot, and white soles. The styles didn't change from 17th century on the way to 20th century until they switched to Western footwear. Royalty shoes may have more decorative features, but they were not reflected in painting. 
children's shoes were surprisingly more decorated than adult men. As you can see here, this is a pair of shoes with lion decorated from 19th century children's shoe. Women's shoes, on the other hand, were much more elaborated and are not covered in this video. Headwear Royalty and Mandarin wore Qing Wan Mao. It has two styles, the black velvet cap in winter or a head woven in rattan or similar materials in summer, both with a button on the top. The button or knob would become a finial during formal court ceremonies and are removed for casual occasions. Red silk tassel extends from the finial to cover the head and a large peacock feather could be attached to the back of the head if that person's merit is approved by the emperor. Depend on the person's rank and position, the head finial can have different material and shape. Civilian may have a straw head like this or a melon head like this. Hairstyle The famous queue. You've probably seen this hairstyle somewhere for dozens of times. This is not the traditional Han Chinese man hairstyle though. For thousands of years, Han men and women didn't cut their hair because of Confucius' teaching. The hair belongs to your parents, so you don't cut your hair to respect them. The Manchu forced every man to cut hair following Manchu style. Resistance were punishable by death. Men following religious order like Taoist or Buddhist were allowed to keep their hairstyle. The fall of king led to a complete change of men hairstyle to short hair almost overnight. Clothes material The most common materials were silk, cotton, and linen. All were made domestically. Because of the wide material selection, they can export their surplus and made very intricate clothes design. Wool wasn't as popular as like in the West unlike later time. Leather and fur were used to make hat and winter clothes. Straw was made into hat and red coat for the peasants and fishermen. The Qing was pretty much self-sufficient in clothes making without any import. I hope through this video you can have an overview of men's wear system in Qing Dynasty. Now, I make this video not as an insider but an outsider trying to understand. So if I have my correct information, feel free to comment down below. One quick question. What is the similarity between this Changshan and this suit? 3, 2, 1, go! They are both blue, and so is this Aventure Bell. Aventure Bell is a whole side adjustable bell with full grand vegetable tent leather construction. You can watch uh, this bell video link in the description. The bell is available in dozens of color link in the description. Have a nice day and see you in the next video.